It is a medication that has been around a while, but is now the subject of quite a bit of controversy when it comes to being a COVID-19 treatment. You probably heard people talking about ivermectin. So a local nurse practitioner is prescribing it to her patients, and she says it works. Fox 26's Rashi Vance is looking into the latest on the drug and its usage. The biggest question lies, should ivermectin be used to treat COVID-19? While clinical studies abroad suggest it works, the FDA hasn't approved it, but studies are currently being done in the U.S. This is according to them. But there's no time to wait on official approval, according to some, battling COVID. So that's why many local Houstonians are giving the drug a chance. Daniel and Morgan Wagner both had COVID-19 in the past few months. Neither are vaccinated. Daniel had it the worst. But I figured since I was in my mid 30s and I was healthy that this would be nothing, right? And I'd just get over it. That didn't happen. His wife was the first to get the virus. She recovered from COVID-19, she says, due to the off-label ivermectin prescribed to her. Now she was taking care of him. I'm a mom. I stay at home with my kids. Um, I treat colds at home. Um, I don't treat bilateral pneumonia or COVID. They got the medicine from nurse practitioner Cheryl Marlitz, who says she's prescribed the drug to nearly 2,000 patients. 600 of them, she says, were severe cases. She says she combines that with other medication, depending on the case, like zinc and vitamin C. I follow up with every single one of my patients, um, especially the, in that 600 group. Um, and I ask about side effects. Ocular pain is a big one, nausea, vomiting, essentially no um, side effects. And so it just it baffles me why um, so many are hesitant to use it. The FDA doesn't approve of it, so hospitals don't prescribe it, even the off-brand label. Recently, the American Medical Association announced they strongly oppose the ordering, prescribing, or dispensing of ivermectin to prevent or treat COVID-19 outside of a clinical trial. Dr. John Farley with the FDA spoke to the AMA. That many of the trials which report a benefit were conducted in other countries without any oversight by the FDA. So we actually have no way of confirming whether the results reported in those trials are real or not. We do have large and well-designed clinical trials going on in this country and others, which should tell us more about whether ivermectin is helpful in treatment. Since there are no clinical studies that have been published overseen by the FDA here in the United States, and you're going off of other studies internationally overseas, some may say that's irresponsible to do. Yeah, and I would just say um, I, I, I can't argue that. Um, all I can say is that I'm prescribing within an appropriate dosing range and I'm seeing the clinical benefits firsthand of, of patient outcomes. Why is it so hard to find a doctor to talk about this? So unfortunately, I'm sure you've heard of what's happened to like frontline doctors and stuff like that. It can't, getting canceled and criticized is a really big thing. I have family members that are scared for me to do this interview. Big takeaway is that clinical trials are being conducted right now by the FDA on ivermectin for COVID-19. It is possible in the future the drug would be approved by the FDA to treat the deadly virus. In the newsroom, Rashi Vats, Fox 26 News.